right, so welcome to KEB America. Today I want to talk to you about the 87 Hertz motor trick. So this trick allows you to maintain constant torque and get increased power out of the same IEC rated motor uh, with the Delta Y configuration. So the Delta Y configuration is standard, uh, mostly out of Europe. So we'll be talking about 50 Hertz today, but there are some out there with 60 Hertz, all the same principles apply. It's just that the numbers we'll be talking about are a little bit different. So the Delta Y allows for two different motor voltage inputs. You have your 230 volts, oops, or 400 volts. So with the Delta configuration, you have your L1, L2, and L3 coming in, and you would jump her across here, here, and here. And so that's your Delta uh, motor configuration for a 230 volts input. Same thing on the Y, you have L1, L2 and L3, except this time we jump her across here and we jump her across here. And so this would be your Y configuration for a 400 volts. And again, these are for 50 Hertz that we'll be talking about, but some of them, uh, there are some 60 Hertz models out there. So now that we've talked about voltage and frequency, we'll see what that effect actually has. So in a standard open loop motor control, as long as you maintain constant frequency or the constant ratio between voltage and frequency you will have a constant torque on your output so here at 50 Hertz and at 230 volts for the Delta configuration we have this uh, linear relationship of voltage and torque so if we then go to some math quick we have 230 volts over 50 Hertz and 4.6 volts per hertz. So for every one hertz we increase the frequency, we in turn have to increase the voltage by 4.6 volts. So as long as that stays constant, we'll have constant torque. So now that we've talked about torque a little bit, we'll get into the power and torque curves. So the same thing, we'll have frequency here on the bottom and we'll have 50 hertz. So because we just talked about torque, so as I said, that stays constant up to 50 Hertz. And then, so because with this Delta configuration, uh, typically you would have a 230 volt input to the drive that's controlling the motor. And so because that's limited to 230 volts, the output is limited to 230 volts. So if we were to try to increase past here, we don't have any voltage available to increase anymore. So as the uh, frequency increases, the voltage stays constant. And this is what's known as the field weakening range. So in that range, your power and torque behave a little bit differently. So in this case, your torque actually decreases inversely proportional to the frequency. And then so for power, that actually increases proportionally. Uh, let's get that all the way out to 50 hertz. So that increases proportionally uh, to frequency. And then once we get past 50 hertz, it stays constant. So and that's your power. Um, so that's your kind of standard operation. Now we'll talk about the 87 hertz trick. So what that does is rather than wire it for your 230 volt delta configuration, you would wire it for the 400 volt Y configuration. And so the one thing to keep in mind for that is you would in turn have to have a 400 volt drive in front of it that would allow for a 400 volt input to the drive. So if we were to imagine then, we increase this straight out, out to 87 hertz. And in turn, we go up to 400 volts. If we come down here and do the math again quick, we have 400 volts over 87 hertz. And so that is the same, 4.6 volts per hertz. So because we're maintaining this ratio constantly from 50 to 87 hertz, we still maintain our constant torque out to 87 hertz. We'll say 87 here. And then so the same thing with the power, that also stays constantly increasing. And so then as we go from 50 to 87 hertz, we gain all this extra power and then the torque maintains constant. And then once we were to hit 87 hertz, then it would uh, do the same behavior as previously. 
So as you can see, uh, we get this extra power and the torque maintains a constant from 50 to 87 hertz um, in the same IEC rated motor. And that's the 87 hertz motor trick. Was I safe up here? It got close. <laughs> That's a very tough yeah.